You see, after a time, first on the headlight, there's like a clear coat that is being applied, but fortunately, they start to yellow and haze like this starts to appear. The headlights used to be made out of glass. This is why you can see the old cars, they still have like nice and shiny headlights, but the ones made from plastic don't last as long, but we can fix it. So these are the tools you're gonna need. I mean, the tools, the equipment. We're gonna need some masking tape to mask out the surrounding paint, some different gradations of sandpaper, polishing pads with a drill attachment, of course a drill water and spray and then compound and polish i'm using maguire's over here and for the last step we're going to use either some wax or you can also get a headlight cleaner and sealer but we'll see at the end what i'm going to use i haven't decided yet and of course you're going to need a lot of elbow grease open the hood and now we don't have to tape off this area we just have to tape off around here now before you start anything it's good to wash the car or like actually wash the headlight i mean because i washed the car already i'm just gonna wipe it off with some damp microfiber towel there we go those headlights were actually fixed before because i see it i think this is clear coat that was spread on here I think it's gonna be okay. So first we're gonna start with some 600 grit sandpaper. Should we spray a lot of water on it? And of course we spray water on the headlight. And I know some people are gonna say, why aren't you using a drill attachment of sandpaper? I prefer to do it by hand. I know it's gonna take longer, but I prefer to do it myself so I don't heat up or damage the headlight. But then later the polishing, we're gonna do it with this drill. And as I can see already, we get a bit closer, all the haze is being removed. So first I'm doing the circular motion and then I'm doing the linear motions. So then later when I apply the next level of sandpaper, basically they kind of like cancel each other out. But then later when I'm going to be polishing, the polish is pretty much like a sandpaper in a liquid form. It's going to remove all the finer scratches. Unfortunately we have four headlights here, so you know, double the amount. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, medium pressure, pretty much. Just, you know, letting the sandpaper do its work. There we go. So I'm thinking of either going to 800 or jumping to 1000. Because unfortunately, they don't have like 1500. I have 600, 800, 1000, and then 2000 grid. Jump onto 1000 now. I think it would be nice if I had a little bit of like 1,500 just so I don't make it such a tremendous jump. But I think if we sand down just a little bit longer with the 2,000, all the scratches will go away. Ideally, we should also have 3,000, but I could never find it in the store. Anyway, we gotta do work with what we have. So, I retape the edges again. Ah, uh, everything is moist now. That's what she said. And now comparison to the other side. Yeah, that's already an improvement. On a drill, compound foam pad and compound itself. We apply it on the pad directly, like this. Not to be a lot, maybe that's too much, but anyway. And we just apply it on the headlight. I can just do this instead. Apply it on the whole headlight like this. I know it doesn't have to be too much. There we go. And then we baptize it just, just a tiny bit. And now, nicely. And we go to town. Look at this shine. And that's just compound. There we go. We have brand new headlights. I went through a little bit of compound one more time. Now look at the difference. And now, polish is gonna make it glass-like. Now, we're gonna change it. Change the drill attachment. Shake it. Three nice spots, as soon as it comes off. It would be nice if it would be open. All the edges. And then baptize it. And now, we remove the excess. Incredible shine. Okay, there are some little imperfections that I can do nothing about and I actually realized that there's some bubbling going on inside of the headlight. So now the last step, pretty much to just apply some sort of a protectant. In this case, I'm not gonna use the headlight restore slash sear, I'm just gonna use regular wax. And we leave it for a bit, just so we can seal. There we go. So, now after a few minutes, we can remove the residue, massage it in, and there we go. Would you look at this? Ah, let's remove the tape. 
It's incredible the difference. All right, now I'll do the other headlight. We ran out of daylight. And now, grand reveal. Look at this. This is incredible. The shine and the clarity. Nicely preserved. Beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of our Diesel Mercedes series. I know it has been a while since I last posted, but I'm glad to be back at it and see your all beautiful faces again. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you all in the next episode of Miko's Car Journey.